Hi, I'm Kit Colbert, CTO for End User Computing at VMware. And today I want to take you some of our thinking around how we're planning on unifying end user computing. Unification is really important because what we're seeing is the breakdown of silos between desktop and mobility. Take this device on the screen as an example. Is it a tablet? Is it a laptop? Or is it a combination of both? You know, in the end, we don't really want to care. We want to have a state where a device is just a device. So what do people want? Well, end users and admins want slightly different things. As end users, we want to choose the device we prefer. We want to switch between devices seamlessly throughout the day. And in the end, we want no compromise to the experience that we have on the device of our choice. IT, on the other hand, wants consistency in how it manages. As these devices flood into the workplace, IT needs to be able to scale to manage them. And that scaling requires consistency and simplicity. Now, when you look at VMware's stack, we are unique because we can provide solutions from the device to the data center. And we spent a lot of time over the last few years unifying so the software-defined data center. And we want to do the exact same thing for end-user computing. So let's zoom in to the end-user computing portfolio. As you can see, we have a comprehensive portfolio covering many different areas within EUC. But the problem with looking at it like this is that we kind of see it in these different silos. And what we'd like to do is think about it completely differently. So what I'd like to do is take AirWatch as an example here, because we were really inspired by how AirWatch thinks about things. Rather than thinking about things in silos, they think about them by the function of these things that they're doing, device management, content management, application management. And so the opportunity was to take that and to generalize it to work not only for mobile devices, but for all devices. And that's exactly the architecture that we're putting together here. When you take a look at this and look at the management la layer there, what you see is no longer are we talking about desktop management versus mobility management. We're just talking about device management. We're talking about application management. We're talking about content management. And these things apply across all devices. Underlying that management are things like identity, things like uh, embedded social across all devices and applications, and things like a common way of network access control. Finally, for end users, they want consistency, consistency in how they access these services, consistency in the sense that irrespective of the device they choose, they can see the same set of apps and easily get access to them. So this is what we want to do. The question is, how are we going to get there? And what we've done is gone and identified seven key integration points to make this architecture reality. You can see them here. So what I'd like to do is dive in and give a bit more detail on each of these. And so what we'll do is we'll start off talking about the things that are focused for end users, and then follow up with the admins. Now, for end users, what are the key integration points? The first is a common application catalog and app store. The second is single identity and single sign-on. The third we look at unifying data and files across all different types of devices. And the fourth, we're looking at embedding social and everything that a user does. So let's take a deeper look at each of these. So we start off with a single catalog. The idea here is that irrespective of the, of the device that a user chooses, they'll be able to see all the applications that they've been entitled to by IT. This means that irrespective of the device, they can get access to these apps in a very simple manner by going to one place. But a part of that is also getting access to those applications in the sense that they want to be able to sign in once and not re-authenticate each time they want to access something different. So having ubiquitous single sign-on across all these services is critically important. And it's not just about having to re-authenticate. It's also about making it as simple as possible for the user. So that means not having to open a VPN, even if they want to access something behind the firewall. Really talking about one-click access here to any service that any user wants. And that's absolutely important. What we also think about is as users move between devices, their data should follow them. More, they should have a consistent view of that data, irrespective of the device that they're using. And this is something that we will provide. Finally, we have social. And when we talk about social, we're talking about embedding social in all the different things that an end user consumes. A big part of that is content. And so we see an opportunity to embed social in that content so that the content can start making recommendations about files or data that a user might be interested in. Say, if they're working with another team who's using some file, the content system can say, hey, this user might be interested in that file as well, and make a recommendation to them. So some very cool and exciting things we can do there. But now let's turn our attention and talk about what we can do for admins. Now, when we think about admins, there's really th three key integration points that we're looking at. The first is around unifying device management. 
So unifying that across all devices. The second is around enabling enterprise management for EUC. And the third is consistent network access control for all EUC resources. So let's dive into each of these as well. Another opportunity we see that we're actually quite excited about is this ability to take the concepts of MDM, mobile device management, of mobile application management that currently exists in the mobile world and apply them to desktop to make managing, securing, ensuring compliance of desktops just as simple and powerful as it is on mobile devices. And we see this opportunity specifically with bring your own desktops, or in this case, laptops. This ability to take our Type 2 hypervisors like Fusion and Workstation and add in all sorts of extra security capabilities to enable admins to easily enforce security for a locally running virtual desktop on a user's own PC. And we think we can do this through the powerful policy framework that AirWatch already has. AirWatch supports managing many, many different types of mobile devices and even some PCs. And so we want to extend this to include virtual desktops running locally on a user's own personal PC. And they can do that in the exact same consistent manner that they do for all these other mobile devices that they have to manage within their environment. And so when we talk about management and consistency of management, this is exactly what we're talking about. This is enabling IT to manage at scale. Now let's switch over to enterprise management. We're talking about here governance, orchestration, and automation. And what we really want to do is tie together the service catalog, which manages provisioning resources, uh, the life cycles of those resources, with the app catalog that we talked about previously, which gives end users simple and easy access to the services that they're entitled to. And really what that means is that a user could request a service through the app catalog. That request would be sent over to the service catalog to go through the normal workflow and governance routines that IT set up. And assuming that user is approved for that resource, it would take care of provisioning that and then add it back in to the end user's app catalog, making it so simple and easy for the end user to, to then go and access that. And so we think this ability to do self-service with the right sort of governance model is very powerful and really enable the next level of scale for IT. Finally, we talk about network access control. And if you look across all the different products we have, we have a number of different ways of managing network access to those resources and those products. And the opportunity here is to distill all that down to a single place where IT can go to set their network access policies and make sure they're enforced consistently, irrespective of the device the end user is using. An important point here is that this technology will integrate seamlessly with any sort of network edge devices the customer already has, such as those from F5. So when you take a look at all these integrations together, we see really powerful potential here to simplify and unify end user computing. And we can't wait to bring these innovations to you. Thank you.